<laughs> Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. We're about 30 minutes from uh, Den uh, DIA, Denver International Airport. Uh, this is yours truly, Marlon Blebman here, one of your truck sales consultants at this location. And guys, it's a pleasure having you guys back here to check out some of our videos. And of course, uh, you guys have seen this one before, but just wanted to go over a few things that I've mentioned on this uh, truck. Um, we're looking at a 2019 uh, Freightliner M2106. This one is sport chassis conversion. And there's a few things that are different when it comes to the sport chassis trucks, um, wheelbase, uh, rail, rail length, uh, you have the rear axle ratio that is different. So there's a little difference in those things, in those trucks compared to our Summit haulers. But again, guys, we are a Freightliner dealer, so we are able to sell that sports, chass sports chassis truck. Uh, so I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer like I did on my previous uh, um, Freightliner. I brought here uh, one of our uh, spec sheet on that particular truck. And just to go over a few things when it comes to that truck, um, if you look at the rail length here, you're looking at a 268. Um, then you go down to the wheelbase, you have a 187. And of course, the rear axle ratio is a 4.33. The GVWR, before I go to that, you look at the front weight uh, of 9,000 pounds and the rear weight at 11,500 pounds. So the GVWR comes to a total of 19,500 pounds. Um, again, we'll go over the engine stuff in a little bit, but just for people who always like to know what's the, what's the wheelbase, uh, axle ratio, I just wanted to bring that to you as well. And again, guys, remember the maintenance uh, options on these, you have two different services. You have the A and the B service. So you could call your local uh, Freightliner dealer and find out when you should be able to bring those trucks in after having it for a while when is the right time to go for the a service and the b service on those units so behind me this truck has been through the shop we have records of what we did to it um, so coming out of this coming out of this uh, uh, dealer with this truck you don't have to worry about anything um, so again like i said you could call your your local freightliner dealer even transwest so we could actually tell you exactly when your next service should be and uh what that service would be as well so let's take a look at this uh, unit like i said it is a 2019 freightliner m2106 and this one is a sport chassis conversion uh, stock number on this unit is 5u201514 and this unit just have a little bit over 3,000 miles. Uh, most of the mileage was having it uh, driven here from Texas. And like I said, guys, this unit is in immaculate shape. So let's take a look underneath the hood so you guys can see what we're working with. So compared to our 106s, which has the Cummins engine, uh, this one does have the Detroit Diesel DD8 engine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one produces 350 horsepower and 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV tra uh, six-speed automatic transmission. And of course, like I said, guys, this truck hasn't even broken into yet in terms of <laughs> driving, not <laughs> actually breaking into. But uh, this truck has tons of life on it. Like, like I said. This engine is still bulletproof right now, so it hasn't even seen any daylight yet. So you guys are buying a, a, a great unit. Um, very easy to, to kind of go over the different parts in the engine. Like I said, everything on this unit, on, a, on Freightliner, on a whole, is clearly labeled in that engine. So as a new person with Freightliner, you could go open that hood up and actually see what you're actually looking at. So. Um, gonna close that up and like I said guys those hoods are very easy to to work with nice and soft close I remember there are two tie downs on each side always remember guys and I'll mention that in all my videos on those freight liners always remember to strap both of them down before heading down the road um, it's just a safety feature 
that you don't want to forget. So just make it a habit. Once you guys go into the engine, make sure you tie down both of them. Don't leave it for later because you might forget. Um, let's look at the tires here. We do have 25580 R22.5s. Uh, these doesn't come with the auto balances like we have on our units. Um, but I could surely find out if those auto balances could be put on this unit as well. So if you guys have that question in mind, uh, I will answer that question in, um, in, in the comments below or um, you guys could call me and I could give you the answer as well. One thing I like about a sport chassis, especially this unit, is the way the stairs, um, it's kind of like a, a rubber ca carpet uh, feel. Um, very easy to come in and out of that truck. Um, and again, one thing that is cool too is the cover for your, your gas tanks. We have 100 gallons on this side. So we got 100 gallons on this side. I'll tell you guys what we got on the other. Your death fluid is a little bit off to the, the back end of the truck. This is a six gallon death tank. You do have your battery conditioner up here, so you can plug that in and it will send power to your batteries, kind of uh, charge those batteries up uh, when, you, when you need it. Tons of storage room here. And I like the way the diamond plate inside, the, uh, inside those boxes. It gives it that clean look. We do have an air supply here. And one thing I like about the previous owner, he created a hook inside here to put the air hose. So all you guys got to do is just come in, take this off the rack. You guys could come in. Plug that into your air, into your air supply. You could actually see the amount of air coming out of that, right? And then you just roll it and put air in your tires, wherever you need it, in your trailer. Super easy to work with. So the airline is supplied with this truck. One of the good things I like about this truck as well is the amount of boxes, uh, Two boxes they have so with this trailer on here you guys you guys have a nice toolbox to be able to access even with the trailer being on here and you have one of these on each side of that truck another good thing I like about this too as well is that big storage compartment up here oh. And if we take a look inside here, you can see the amount of storage we have in here. Um, it also has a fifth wheel um, hitch. So you guys could actually use a gooseneck ball or fifth wheel hitch, very easy to put together and very easy to take out. So we store it inside here. I think this has only been used maybe a couple times in its life, so. And of course, guys, you do have that camera system up here. It is not the Voyager system camera, but it is a very good camera uh, that goes into that Kenwood uh, box. And it is adjustable. I always tell you guys it is adjustable. And one thing I wanted to mention, you have three screws on each side. All you got to do is just kind of loosen those up a little bit. And you could actually tilt the camera, you know, whatever, if you want it higher or lower. Um, it has a little ways it could go as well. So very easy to be adjust. And... Uh, you have your LED lights up here, the brake lights, parking lights. And they also have a strip lights inside here as well. They come in the interior of this handrail. So all those will light up um, once you put your lights on. Uh, so you have your cab lights, this will light up and kind of give you uh, nice clear bright lights if you want to work at night trying to hook up your your trailer so you guys saw that previous video with uh cj earlier we're looking at this four horse with living quarters it's a, a massive trailer um, right now we are hooked up to the gooseneck ball on this trailer and again guys if you guys are looking for a package deal like cj said we always have trucks coming in 
We have brand new Summit Haulers coming in. Um, we always get good trades um, in terms of freight liners or pickup trucks. Like he mentioned, for a trailer like this, you will need a big boy, something like this, or a 112, um, we would rather you get um, because of the weight behind this trailer. And once you put horses in there and you start filling it up with your personal items, the weight will go up, of course. So um, a 112 will be the ideal truck to be able to pull this uh, trailer with no worries at all. But we are hooked up to this uh, 106 right now. We are on a flat surface, so don't worry guys. Uh, we are being good to this truck. Um, we are hooked up, so we have the, the seven pin hookup for this trailer on here. Right now we don't have the chains hookup, but we have uh, the chain um, hookup underneath that gooseneck ball to tie those chains down. But because of uh, we're just doing this video, um, we didn't put the chains on. So we do have a chain hookup here as well. You have a bumper pull, hitch, 20,000 pounds. And as we continue, you will see that, we'll see that carpet all around this uh, truck, which is pretty cool. A little bit different, but kind of nice. Storage on both sides still. And like I say, I love the way those diamond plates look inside those boxes. All right, so we have 100 gallons on the, other, on the driver's side, and on this side we have a 50 gallon, so a total of 150 gallons on this uh, sport chassis. Um, regular uh, freight liners come with a 50-50. Um, you do have occasionally where you find uh, the trucks to have more than 100 gallons on, on, on those units, so this one does come with 150 gallons of diesel. And of course, guys, we are gonna fill up both tanks for you on purchase, so you will be leaving this store with 150 gallons of diesel um, on this truck, so you guys don't have to worry about diesel for the first part of your trip. <laughs> All right, taking a look in the back here, you are looking at some amazing black leather with white stitching seats, uh, very comfortable, tons of leg room, and of course, guys, this back bench does turn into a bed. And right beneath, right in the center, we have a bunch of charging ports here, USB and 12 volts. Uh, so you don't have to worry about your guests on charging the devices. And you have a wide, Right seats, certain seats here, all custom. Um, it does come with air ride seats. It has a little massage uh, feature on there as well. Um, it does come with heated and cool seats, which is an awesome feature to have on this, uh, on this, on those trucks. And uh, want to make sure you guys are comfortable driving uh, this truck, so the air ride does come very handy as well. Another thing I didn't mention too is the quality of sound this particular unit has as well. Um, the Summit Heller does have some great sound, um, but the way they designed this truck, all the speakers are in the doors, um, coming facing up with a little angle. Underneath that speaker here, you have a, a nice LED lighting, so it will light up and shine on the, on the stairs coming up. And of course, the quality of those kicker speakers are, are awesome. So. For all those who love music like I do, um, you, you will get some incredible sound on, on your trip. So let's take a look inside, guys. Um, I'm sure you guys are wondering what the interior looks like. And again, this is the sport chassis conversion. So you have a little, a little bit different setup than the Summit haulers, but it is a great unit. So, a little thing that's different is the way they designed their, the center box. So you have a few cup holders here, and of course storage inside here. And then you have another little storage box here. And those wires, uh, you could charge your phones, and of course the stereo system does come with Android and Apple capabilities. So 
once you plug your phone into these USB ports, you will actually have that Android and uh, Apple capability. And a good thing too, once you plug in your phone, you could hide your phone in here and keep it out of sight. Everything will, will be shown on the screen, which makes life very, very easy for you. So you could uh, keep focus on the road. Um, we have two options here for your backup camera. So this noise you just heard there, whenever you start this uh, truck up, it's going to pretty much give you that loading sound and it does come through the speakers. So it's nothing to do with uh, any problems with the speakers. So that's something you will hear every time you turn the key on on this truck. So the camera system, we have a, a option of running your camera system 24-7 uh, if you're driving. Uh, so you could actually see what's going on with your trailer in the back. If that feature, you want that feature to turn off and want to pretty much go um, and check your uh, navigation or uh, decide to listen to radio, all you gotta do, this but this switch right here that say BU camera, so that means backup camera, you could just turn that switch off and it will send you straight back to your uh, stereo system. So you could toggle between FM, AM radio, satellite radio, or your, um, music on your phone um, it does come with navigation already built in so uh, you have your navigation all set up here you can set it up to to where you could see all your truck stops all your, um, your your gas stations and all that stuff um, let me just start that it's just a little bit noisy um, you have power windows power locks it does come with for uh, air parking brake um, it does come with rear suspension, air brake, um, air suspension. So you could actually press that button and actually dump the, uh, dump your rear. So when you're ready to, uh, to back into your trailer, like backing into a trailer like this, it was very easy for us to uh, release the air in the suspension back into that trailer, and of course send that air back and very easy to, uh, to send that in. So uh, it does come with a lane departure uh, alert. And this is that feature right here, right on the windshield. It has a camera up here, a sensor, and actually if you get um, going off your lane, it will actually warn you. But if that feature, you want to disable that feature, all you gotta do is turn that switch off and that feature will be disabled. Once the light comes on, that means that feature is enabled. So you have that option here as well. You have your, your lights in, the, in, in the, uh, the back of the bed to turn on. Automatic regen if you want that to if you want to regen your, your your truck you have your engine brake You have a high and a low engine brake on high you use all six cylinders and on low you use only three cylinders AC controls This is your Allison automatic transmission and for all those who were not here on my last video If you press once the truck is running and you press the plus and minus together right now You're seeing we are in neutral and in park if you press those two together, you could actually see your oil levels, your oil temperature. Press it again, you could see your oil life. Press it again, your filters, it will tell you about all your filters and stuff like that, so all your filters are okay. Transmission health, of course, if there is an, an error or stuff, it will show up here, but your transmission health is okay. And of course, there's no codes running through your transmission. So if there was any codes, it would tell you what code it is. Very easy to call up Freightliner, give them your VIN number, and they will actually tell you what's going on with your vehicle. Odometer reading as of this video today, uh, we're looking at 3,224 miles. So like again, guys, for a Freightliner like this, this is no mileage for it. Uh, so you have tons of life here. Um, you have your your air compressor gauge so you could actually see where you are um, your oil gauge water gauge transmission and of course your uh, your miles per hour rpms and stuff like that so this truck does come with two options for uh, horns you have the uh, regular horn and of course you have your air horn which is uh get out of my way guys i'm coming so uh it's a nice feature to have on a truck big like this, especially when you're hauling a trailer uh, big as what you have in the back here. So there's tons of features on this, uh, on this unit. Um, of course, on delivery, we go over everything with you guys one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So any questions you have about 
how to control or how to connect your phone how to go about um, anything you know we'll be able to go over we actually take our time and go through everything with you on delivery or even on a test drive or on an appointment we we go over everything with you then and on delivery we do that again so we take our time um, we we take pride in in our products and and whenever we sell stuff like that so uh, Transwest is is very very good with that and follow-ups when you guys call us you know on any issue we are quick to jump in and try to fix that issue um, 100% so uh, I mean you guys are our customers we love you guys so we just appreciate your business so if you guys are interested in this unit or any unit we have on our lot please give me a call today uh, my number is 303-684-3412 or you can call me on my cell or text at 661-755-4344 or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com for any information any questions feel free uh, i pretty much answer my phone anytime except when i'm sleeping but i've gotten calls at nighttime on weekends holidays so i'm pretty much one of those guys that business come first well family come first but business come second uh, but i'll be able to answer any of your questions any time of day so have a wonderful weekend guys and i'll see you guys here back next week for more videos hopefully some of our units coming in we'll be able to show you guys that next week um, i'm very impressed with some of the units we are getting in so feel free uh have a wonderful weekend and thank you guys for tuning in